In this demonstration, we will review using Firefox as your web browser. The version of Firefox that we are reviewing here is Firefox version 9. So to start off with, on your screen you're looking at Firefox. Um, this is a web browser that is similar to Internet Explorer, Safari, Opera, or Chrome. A web browser is used to view web pages, search the web, and interact with any web services. We'll start off with looking at some of the basic terminology. At the top is a tab. So in the first tab, I can see the address. And I'm going to type in the address of www.mcc.edu. Notice that I'm not putting this in a search bar. I'm actually typing it right in the address bar of my browser. Within, I can click on links. So, for example, I'm going to click on search um, our current students. Within current students, I can look up information. So I can go under services and look at Applewood Cafe. So I've clicked on the different hyperlinks. On these pages, you'll notice that the hyperlinks are in a green color. Um, normally, hyperlinks are in a blue color. So by default, they're in a blue underlined format. Um, many websites, though, or some websites, actually change the style, um, such as mcc.edu, where we've made them green. Other sites might have them in different colors. If you put your mouse over text and you see it change to a finger pointing, instead of an arrow, that's when you know that it's a clickable link. On a browser, there's a back button. So I'm going to click the back button. And you can see that I'm moving backwards to the pages that I was previously on. I can click the forward button and go back to the pages where I wanted to go. <coughs> Excuse me. I can refresh a web page. So if the web page may have changed or if I think that I'm viewing outdated content, I can click refresh and that reloads my page. I can add additional tabs. So for example, if I click on the plus symbol, I can type in uh, google.com. On there I have the Google search engine and I have the MCC current students. I can search Google for we'll do Mott Community College. And I could view, let's say, the Wikipedia page. Now on that Wikipedia page, I might want to leave my Google search open and open that in a new tab. To do so, I can right click on the link and select open a new tab. Or I can left click and keep my left mouse button pressed and drag that link right up into my tabs. And it'll open wherever I drop it. If I decide I have a tab open that I do not want open anymore, then click on the tab and then there's an X and that'll close the tab. If I want to minimize my screen, I can click on the minimize button and it'll go down to my taskbar. And I can always bring it back up. I can resize my window. So currently I have mine sized differently, but if I put my mouse in the upper left hand corner or right hand corner, I can drag. I can do so in any direction for any part of the window. If the window is already maximized, so I clicked on the maximize button, it would maximize the page. To restore down, this button right here will turn into two squares. I can click on that button, which is the restore down button, and it will bring it back to a smaller view. This enables me to be able to drag the page around however I like. On my web browser, I may want to change my home page. So for example, I may want to change my page to Google. I can bring open or open Google. I can hit the Alt button on my keyboard and it will bring up a menu of options. To change my home page, I click on Tools, Options, and then for home page I can use Current Home Page or Current Page. I click OK. And now whenever I open my browser, it will take me right to Google. 
I can also browse the web, so I'll go to msn.com, and if I want to go back to my home page, there is a home button. So I click on home, and that takes me back. By default, most browsers have a search window located within, in which search engine they use, um, that's really based on your configuration. Currently, mine is set to Google. So if I search for something within my search pane, So, for example, Crossroads Village, it will search Google and automatically bring it up. That makes my typing in Google.com and going to their site, um, it reduces my time, makes me a little bit more efficient. When browsing the web, it's very important to keep an eye on where your address bar is taking you. So there are some sites out there where their goal is to trick you um, and have you enter information. If you look at your address, you can see where you're located. If, for example, if your address was google.somesite.com, in that situation, you would actually be at somesite.com. It's the last one before the .com, which is the true website that you're at. If you saw scholar.google.com, you'd actually be on Google's website and they have a sub portion that is called Scholar. And that concludes the very basics of using Firefox as your browser.